Welcome back guys. Looking a little crazy. It's still Sunday. I did another, um, I did a vlog this morning. Um, since then I cleaned up the house and I put that table, that coffee table that I showed you. It was a box in the kitchen. I put that together by myself. It took me about half hour. It was easy peasy. It was a cinch and I'm very happy with it. So you ready for the haul? So I told you guys yesterday I went to, the, well, my family and I went to Cold Springs, which is a town. I'm not going to keep repeating myself because it's not like a broken record. But these are the things that I purchased. And also my daughter has one purchase here, I think, as well. Let's see. I'll let you know. So there's a lot of little uh, shops and there are a lot of um, consignment, consignment stores as well. So, um, of course, they're usually the same shops, but I go in each and every single one of them every time I go, hoping that I see something new because you never know, right? And usually, most of the time, I do find something new. So we went to the first shop, which is, um, it's called the Country Touch. Well, this is what the bag of stuff looks like. Let me tell you something. I love anything country. I love that whole country theme, you know, the pit berries and the wood and and the barn stars. I love that. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I, I don't know if I'm quite sure on how to decorate that way. Um, I don't think that I would like everything country which is why I don't decorate the entire house country because I do still like my sparkle and I like metallics and I like, you know, fur and, and things like that. So that's the only reason why I don't decorate the entire house country because if it wasn't for that, believe me, my house would probably look like a barn. But so I go into the store every single time because they have a lot of, um, you know, handmade soaps and lotions and body butters and and they have a lot of wooden signs and oh my god i go crazy in that store every single time and of course they had a couple of new things so the first thing that i purchased from that store which once again is called the country touch um was this and i purchased this for my grandson now this this was eight dollars it was eight dollars and it's a tooth fairy pillow People, isn't that adorable? It's called my tooth fairy pillow. So when his, when his teeth, they're starting to grow now because he has two in the bottom. He'll be a year next month. He has two in the bottom and the, the two top teeth are just coming out now. But I bought him this for the future so that when they do start falling out, you know how we put our, their, the kids put their uh, teeth under the pillow. Well, this is a pillow just for that because in the back of it, there's a little slot, you can see, where he can put his tooth. And then the tooth fairy will come, take it out, and put his money inside that little pouch. Isn't that adorable? I fell in love with that. I've never seen something like this before. So I was happy to purchase that for him. Then I purchased... Um, I go crazy. You, you guys already know that I love scents. Anything with scents, I am in love with so I bought these, and this is the th this is this is the type of paper they wrap the majority of the things. Isn't it cute? Isn't it adorable? I'll probably keep this and reuse this. Oh my goodness! So, and I usually always buy these. Their room sprays. I will always buy the room sprays, but this time they had um. They had different scents, which I wasn't crazy about, like, you know, like an ocean breeze or something like that. But I usually, being that we usually always go go for fall, we go there for fall. So I always, you know, get the fall scents. And this is my all-time favorite. And it's called um, Vintage Home Mist Autumn Harvest. Let me tell you something, people. This smells divine. Divine. And I like this scent so much. They have a website and they will ship this to you. So I buy it online from them. When I run out, I, will, I bought two. I will buy these online from them. And these were about 
four bucks each. And when I tell you autumn, this is autumn. So I bought two of those. Um, and then I also purchased this, but this wasn't from that, was it from that store? No, this wasn't from that store. That's all I purchased from that store. I think that was it. Yep. Those two sprays and my grandson's pillow. My daughter purchased this from that store. Um, they, they, and they have a ton of candles, people. I went crazy. I just, I tried smelling all of them. I didn't buy any candles because I really don't need any more candles. I don't. And these are a little on the pricey side. So they're, um, they're tall jar candles ran for about, how much was it? She said she paid for them like 20 something dollars, which is a lot. It's a lot. I mean, I can always get them online with a coupon. So I opted not to buy any candles, but my daughter did. And she purchased this one. And this one is called, um, what is the name of this? Of course, it has the country touch, the name of the store on it. And it is called Comfort of Home. And it's just a big, giant maroon. Well, let me show you the front. This is the front. So I don't know if you can see. It's Crossroads. It says Crossroads. I think that's the name of the uh, candle company. And it smells absolutely delicious. You can smell the spices and, you know, all the autumn spices and stuff like that. It's definitely an autumn candle. <clears throat> so then that's it for that store. Um, I went into another store that was pretty new. Uh, I have their business card here. I'm not going to show it because I didn't ask permission, but they are called, and I don't know if I'm going to butcher this, <laughs> uh, Archipelago, Archipelago, I believe, at home. I think that's the name of it. And, you know, they're, they're located there, Cold Springs on Main Street. Um, and they had everything for Halloween 50% off. All their Halloween stuff was 50% off. So I saw a lot of cute things that I did like, but I opted not to purchase. But they had this displayed. And this was one of the reasons. This was one of the reasons that I went inside. Because once I saw this displayed at their window, I had to go inside. And of course, I bought two of these. Because they were 50% off. And they're so sweet. And all of these stores, they are so sweet. And this owner was like, you know, I'll give you a really great deal. You know, he was trying to get rid of his merchandise, his Halloween um, decor. And he gave me these. Let me show you. You ready? So they're like, um, like candle pillars. But look, look at this. And this was with the Halloween decor. Isn't this, isn't this beautiful? I don't know. Is, is the camera doing any justice? I don't know if you can see with the background. Look at the, look at the top. The top comes off. Look at this. Let me, let me just show you the top. Because that, I think that's what makes the, the, the whole candle pillar. Isn't that pretty? I can understand why it was with the Halloween decor. But people, you can use this anytime. So the top comes off like that. And then the entire glass part comes off. Right? And that's glass. And then he gave me, he threw in the candles. And I have to get batteries because it's one of those, you know, battery operated flickering light thingies. So you just, I couldn't pass up. I was, my intentions were just to buy that one. Nope. Couldn't do it. And he gave me a great deal. So I was really happy with that. Now, the only issue is. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know whether to put it here in the bedroom on the sides, which I'm thinking I can take those because these are Bath and Body uh, Works uh, candle holders. I'm thinking of taking those and putting those somewhere else and putting these in my bedroom. But I'm not sure. I might want to put them also in on the... I don't know, guys. Comment down below. Where should I put these? These are your options. Either here in the bedroom, one on each side, right, beside the television. On the kitchen table, I have a long rectangular kitchen table, so I can put them there. 
or um, the video below, I, I'm sure you saw, I have another, uh, it's like a hallway table. I don't know where to put it. So comment down below, where should I, where do you think I should put these beautiful sconces? Now you see the size of them, right? They're, you know, it's a decent size. They're not crazy big, but it's a decent size. But, oh my God, I'm so in love with these. Okay, so let's move right along because I can. All right, so that was that was it. I think that's all we purchased from uh, our event yesterday. Um, I have a Mrs. Myers haul that I want to show you now. I am, I've purchased from Mrs. Myers before. I just purchased their fall scents. Now they are coming out with their Christmas scents. So I bought a couple of things from them, right? Huge disappointment. Okay, so this is the bag that they put. Come on, Mrs. Myers, you guys got to get it together. I've never had an issue with you before. Don't do this again, please. Okay, you're wasting my money. Um, so... These are the bags that they usually put the cleaners and, you know, all your products in, right? All right. And so I bought some cleaners. Uh, apparently, the cap from one of the cleaners wasn't on tight. It wasn't screwed on tight enough. So guess what? Mm -hmm. The bottom of the bag was filled with fluid. So now I'm out of fluid. I mean, I tried pouring it back in the bottle, but why should I have to do that? Mrs. Myers, Why? Okay, anyway, so I just thought that I would give these scents a try. So they have come out with their new Christmas scents, and this is pine. I love pine anything all year round, so this is their new pine scent. And it smells like pine. And this is the one that was open. So it smells like Christmas trees. Not a, you know, overwhelming smell. It's not overwhelming but it smells really nice and clean. Um, and they also have their peppermint scent, which looks like this. And I think the packaging also looks like um, the mums, the full mums scent. So that is the peppermint. And I haven't really smelled this because, you know, they put they wrap it up with tape. Apparently, I don't think the other one was wrapped up tight enough. But let's see what this one. And that smells delicious. It smells like peppermint. It smells like candy cane. That's what it smells like. So that's their new. So I purchased, actually I have my receipt here. Um, the Pine Household Cleaner, I purchased two. One for myself and one for a friend who also wanted one. So I got them one. So I bought two of those and they were going for $3.99 the surface, the multi-surface cleaners. Now I also purchased a pine, um, this is the dish soap. So I purchased a dish soap. Um, and that was also, everything was $3.99? Yeah, that was also $3.99. So I purchased one of those. And I thought I purchased something else. I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, I, I also purchased a um, a peppermint hand soap, but I left that downstairs in the kitchen. I purchased that, and that was also $3.99. Okay, so that's what I purchased from Mrs. Myers. I'm so looking forward to using those, but I'm going to wait till we get closer to December. So that's it for the Mrs. Myers haul. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um... I have a small Amazon haul here. Um, someone hauled this, well, someone spoke about, mentioned this in one of her videos. Um, I have to get her name. I'll link her channel down below. Um, so I thought I would give it a try. And it had re pretty good reviews on Amazon. So this is the Baby Foot Original Exfoliant Foot Peel. So apparently, this is what it looks like. So apparently what you do is that this comes, let me see, this comes like, um, they look like paper socks. Let me show you what it looks like. They look like paper socks. I don't know if you can see with the glare, right? And you put them on your feet for a certain amount of time. And what happens is that within a couple of days, 
I think it's three days. Okay, it says wear the plastic booties on both feet. And I would advise you not to walk around the house with the booties because you may slip and slide. That's what one of the reviews said. Um, so you leave on your feet for one hour. You leave them on your feet for one hour. You can watch television or whatever. And then <clears throat> you wash your feet gently with soap. So what is going to be happening is that within, I think, three days, your feet are going to start, your feet are going to start peeling. May not be a pretty sight, but I guess at the end you'll have baby soft feet. Well, I'm going to give that a try. Going to give that a try. And that was, I think, I paid 20, I think like $20 for this. I believe so. I believe so. So I'm going to give that a try. Um, another purchase from Amazon was <clears throat> one of my videos and I was doing this entire, this, the same setup. I was sitting here and had this in the background and I think it was an Ipsy bag or something. And someone mentioned the, my lighting. Now I'm new. I'm new at this. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to get better, but it's a process. Um, I have the light on above me. You know, there's glare, sun, you know, the skylight, whatever. Um, I like doing my videos in my bedroom because sometimes the other part of the house has a lot of traffic and you may hear a baby crying. So um, I have privacy here, so I like doing my, my stuff here. But they, they, uh, they said, you need, you need better lighting. <laughs> um, why don't you get yourself, if you have some lighting in front of you, it would, you know, show your pretty face. Well, I don't know if you want to see all this. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> but I considered it and I went on to Amazon and I was checking out their ring lights. So this is a portable ring light and this is called a selfie ring light. So apparently this is, this is what the packaging looks like. And what you do is that you see the ring light here, you attach it to your phone and it's battery operated you attach it to your phone and um it has this is what it looks like it has two batteries it takes two double no sorry two triple a batteries and you just attach it it clips this is what it looks like so that's the ring light right so it clips onto your phone like that see and it also has three settings. So if you want soft, bright, or bright as hell light, I'm going to show you now. So this is the first setting. I don't want to blind you guys, but just want you to see. That's number one. Then you click on it. It has a button here on top. You see that? And that's what you press. So if you want mild lighting, a little on the bright side lighting, or bright as hell lighting, that's what you get. Then it turns off, which is pretty cool. So I think I'll be trying to use this. And that wasn't much. This was, um, what, maybe seven bucks, if that. Nice. So I'm looking forward to trying to use that so you can see all this hell of a mess. Um, then my last purchase was, you know, it's getting colder here in New York, right? It's getting pretty cold. So the way that my house is set up, we have two levels. Right, we have the downstairs and then we have the upstairs where the bed well, we have a bedroom downstairs too, but um my bedroom is upstairs. And my where my daughter's staying currently is is upstairs as well with the baby. So you can either opt to warm up the entire first level. This is the way my house is set up, or you can either opt to warm up the entire second level. So the rooms don't have individual heating settings. If you understand, I don't know. Does that make sense? All right. So sometimes I'm colder than everyone else. So why should we put on the heat and, you know, get everyone hot? No. So I bought a portable heater and believe you me, I researched, researched. I mean, I will never leave a heater on by itself while at work or out or wherever, or even sleeping. I will warm up the room first a little if I'm really cold and then I'll turn it off. <clears throat> This heater here has a timer, so I purchased my own. Now, I want you to just see, because you know, I gotta have cute things. So this heater is cute. Isn't this cute? Look at this, look at this. 
It looks like a mini fireplace, right? So apparently, it, this is how it sits. You sit this on the floor. So on the top, you have your settings. So you can time, it has a timer. You can set it for um, one hour, two hour, or four hours. That's when it'll turn on or it'll, it'll turn off. And then you have the temperature which is 60, 65, can you see that? 70, 75, 80, and then you have max, right? And this is how you turn it on and off. I am in love with this heater, in love. And let me tell you, this tiny little heater, my bedroom is pretty big bedroom. <clears throat> it's like 20 something by 20 something, right? This small heater will heat this entire bedroom I'd say within 10 minutes, then it gets really hot and I'll have to turn it off because then the flashes, you know, you know, that story. But yeah, it's awesome. I recommend that. It's on Amazon and this is by the company called Lasco or Lasco. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's, it's so pretty and it really works really well. You just, you know, of course you plug it in. So... I think that's it for my haul, guys. So um, like and subscribe if you like these types of videos. And please comment down below on where the heck I should put these beauties. I have two of them. These beauties. All right. I'm waiting for your answers. Um, and I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>